I'm a big fan of Milwaukee Tools Shockwave line of driver bits, drill bits, even their impact sockets. I've been using them for a lot of years. At times I bought larger kits that included lots of parts, pieces, even the adapters and impact sockets. And I've bought specific impact socket kits as well, as you can see here in this one. This is a quarter inch drive impact socket. This is a nice set. It's got a foam lined box. The only thing that bummed me out about this kit was, well, the price, number one. It was fairly expensive for the number of pieces I felt. They are good quality sockets. And I always thought to myself, am I paying the extra money, the extra do re me for this case and the phone that's inside? This kit's 11 sockets and they had a quarter by quarter adapter here. So it was a 12 piece kit. I think it was around $100 for this kit. The box, the case, although very sturdy, is big for 12 pieces, for 12 sockets. Why don't Milwaukee Tool do something that would save some space, maybe even save you some money? That's what I used to say. That's what I used to say to myself. That's what the voices inside my head would say. Well, Milwaukee Tool must have read my mind because today we're going over this. It's impact sockets on a rail. It's got an attractive price to it. I think you're getting a lot for your money. We're gonna tell you all about it right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. If you wanna help out with the channel, head on over to the merch store. You get hats, t-shirts, tech shirts. Link will be down below. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Vince. Welcome to you, especially. Leave it down below. If you're new to the channel, we wanna know your name and where you're tuning in from. I want you to know that this impact socket release, this upgrade, this Gen 2, 3 version of Milwaukee Tools impact sockets is a big deal. I mean, they're making a huge deal about this, and we're making a huge deal about it because they've added some real thoughtful innovation. They've also added things that the users have asked for. I mean, this has a limited lifetime guarantee on the sockets. Pretty awesome feature. So if you crack them, break them, I suppose they'd be warranted. Milwaukee put out a press release announcing these improved sockets says Milwaukee delivers the boldest, longest lasting markings with new Shockwave Impact Duty six point sockets. Milwaukee Tool continues to deliver groundbreaking accessory solutions with the introduction of the Shockwave Impact Duty six point socket lineup, available in quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, three quarter, and one inch drives. So this is gonna be a full expansive line. It's not gonna be like just quarter and three eighths. They're gonna go all the way up to one inch impact sockets with this lineup. Full, well-rounded. Engineered for use with impact wrenches, drivers, and ratchets, this new line of sockets features the boldest, longest lasting markings and extreme impact durability to withstand high torque applications. The Shockwave Impact Duty sockets provide maximum wear resistance with stamped and ink filled size markings making it easier for users to select the right socket for their application throughout the entire life of the socket. Constructed with high strength forged steel, these sockets deliver optimized performance in heavy duty applications and a non-slip hex geometry prevents socket and fastener rounding. For easy socket attachment and removal, the sockets are complete with dual hole design and ring groove. Completing the Shockwave Impact Duty offering, Milwaukee offers impact socket accessories, including socket extensions, universal joints, adapters, and reducers. I was very excited to see that these were available at the Home Depot. This kit is a standard set. A lot of people have been asking, when will they be coming out with a metric set? It seems like metric is on the way, but this standard set is eight pieces total. It's product number 49667024. And you'll see they're calling out boldest, longest lasting markings. And you could see even through the packaging, it is very clear on what we have here. These are 3 8 drive. They come on that awesome rail. I want to get it opened. But in case you're wondering, this is an eight piece kit on a rail with an adapter. This kit with tax is 42.62 out the door. 
with tax. So we had a total of 12 pieces here for 100 bucks. We have eight pieces here on a rail for just over 40 bucks. Ah, me personally, this is the way I'd like to go. I like the rail system. You can throw this in a bag, it's easier. This takes up a lot of space, especially in drawers. Let's get this thing open. You know, the one thing I really love about this announcement is that they're not just throwing an offering out there to test the waters at this point. They're introducing a system. They're not just giving you some impact sockets. They're literally giving you impact sockets at this point to accommodate all of the impact wrenches that you can get from Milwaukee Tool, all the way up to one inch. So instead of having to use another brand's impact sockets with your Milwaukee one inch impact wrench, you now can use Milwaukee sockets. They're also giving you swivels and adapters. They're giving you a full solution for this line, for impact sockets and drives. I like that. Now, the rail has removable end caps. If you were just trying to, to make a, a certain setup, you could remove your clips from the rail or maybe even add clips to the rail. Look, here's the thing. Impact sockets are, are readily available from so many different manufacturers. And I'm not saying that there's not the possibility that one impact socket's better than the other. There looks to be some innovation to these impact sockets. I think that what users are looking for at this point is, yeah, they want an impact socket that's not gonna shatter in a million pieces when they're trying to remove their fasteners, but they're looking for the solutions that they need to get this impact socket into the spaces that it has to go to remove those fasteners. The swivels, the adapters, the extensions, that's what they're looking for. They wanna be on a platform where they can get everything they, can, they need from one manufacturer. Previously, maybe automotive techs and machinery techs wouldn't really consider looking at Milwaukee because they were getting all of their sockets and swivels and adapters from a different manufacturer. I mean, Matco or Snap-on. I think that at this point, Milwaukee is saying, hey, we're the real deal. Come to us for your socket needs. I think you're gonna pay a little bit of a premium, but they seem to be giving you stuff to make you more productive. For instance, these sockets are clearly marked. These markings are recessed into the socket and then paint filled. Now, maybe over time that will wear off, but what won't wear off is the marking itself. We also have the Milwaukee logo up here with specific part numbers. What that's telling me is if you were to lose an individual socket, you would be able to replace an individual socket. Lifetime guarantee covers impact sockets only. If retailers aren't gonna be stocking single sockets, how would I go about warranting a socket or replacing a socket? Now this kit, you have two options to run these sockets because it does have that quarter by three eighths adapter. You'll see you have your little ball detent. You can run these sockets in an impact driver. Pretty positive retention, feels good there. Or you could go straight to an impact wrench. Oh, that really feels good. Let's see if we can break it. We have half inch lag fasteners. Here's the thing with this. Previously, as a carpenter, I would run Milwaukee's impact sockets for certain tasks, fixture installations and such. I think that a lot of you you could tell me down in the comment section below, because the line of impact sockets wasn't as complete, I don't think automotive techs really took it serious or machinery techs took it serious because they didn't have a full, well-rounded solution. Let me know what you think down below. Is this more enticing to jump onto Milwaukee's platform for sockets and adapters because it's becoming more expansive? I wanna know. If you take a good look at this lag fastener, I don't know if you can zoom in or not, you will see that their six point rounded design actually does work. 
where they talk about less rounding of the fastener itself because of the way it's contacting the fastener. And we can see opposite here to the to the left of this of this point, you can see the the, the blackening of the fastener there, here, here, here. You can see not at the point. So the pressure is being put applied to the flat of the fastener instead of at the point of the fastener. Let's back this fastener out. Now you can see that we have that blackening on the opposite side. So you can see forward reverse, we're not getting any rounding of the fastener itself. Pretty impressive. You're gonna have less rounding of tough to remove fasteners, which could keep your day from going really bad. Let's apply a little bit more power to this solution, see what we get. Yeah, I know, like this is an impact wrench, this is an impact driver, but this is literally one of the most powerful impact drivers on the market. And this is a three quarter inch socket, right? It's a half inch fastener. We have this shockwave adapter. Will, will we snap it? It's possible, definitely not impossible. You can see on this lag, we have no, no marking at all, but we'll see where it applies the force to the fastener. Wow, that was really fast. Number two, I wanna back this out. Once again, we can see where those sockets are applying the force to the fasteners. It's leaving those points fully intact. No rounding of the fastener, which, like I said, could help you in completing your work. Here's the other thing. I'm thoroughly impressed with this quarter by three eighths adapter. I mean, a lesser adapter would have snapped. I mean, literally would have snapped under that force. Maybe over time, we'll get it to snap. But for today, it seems safe. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here.